everybody, you're still tuned in to, you know, your favorite show, the leading show in Two Face Four. We call it Bounce Nation. My name is Celine Jean, hanging out with King Kingsley. As always, I'm going to tell you what you're doing. I'm going Sanya. Ati nimesikia. Nikaanza ni mimi nacheza ati nimesikia. Wewe wacha. Umesikia vile wewe set imeweza. Madara ya Tuesday unaleta mpaka leo. I wish. I wish. Leo siwezi kubali. Leo Thursday. Ai, utapigwa na watu hapa. Thursday ni siku za Kings. Hizo tulimpea. Thursday zinakuangaza Kings. Hiyo leo sijakataa. I did not dispute that. Thursdays are your days. Tuesdays zinakuangaza Team Philin. But anyway, in regards to that story tunakuuliza, wewe unataka talent ya Beyoncé ama you want to have money like Jay-Z? Do you want to have that business mind ya Jay-Z ama you want a talent like Beyoncé? You know, I keep telling Kings, ukiwa na talent ya Beyoncé, it gives you power, the respect that you want, it gives you all that money and also you're passionate about making music. You know, you're doing something you love doing. But Jay-Z, you know, having that business mind is essential. Utakuwa na pesa, yes, sijakata. But then, passion, passion, passion is everything. Passion is fruit. We <laughs> eat it. Sorry, my wapi. Tafta pesa bana, chana na matunda. Matunda bisangat. But me and you don't matter. It's the people at home that matter. So keep talking to us. What do you think? Passion or money? You know, niyo pesa unadai ama niyo nini na, niyo ineto nini ni pesa, business mind or the talent that matters. All right? Now, I want to sample some of the comments of the guys that are tuned in right here. But what your Instagram na shinanga kuwasa how always. So leo, let me do some justice by you. Kingsley kwanza wutu fanyivu. Ama ni aje? Inyo? IG. Utusome wa sewa IG. Utuambia ni nani ya kuko? Hey, no, nime sota sina bundles. Sawe, wewe mwini wa tichomea. Nimi na tichomea. Nyi mko sawa. Wewe mko sawa. Wana zaini watu wa tichomea kwa tuju. Misi jalipua. But it's all good, it's all good. What's the Instagram? I got you, I got you, I got you. Let's do it. No, it's not Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. So much, so much. Joe Shafika. Kabla mini fiki tako yu take time mingi sana. Na jume mwenye mbea bundles nika kumbuka by way kuna kwa ngana wifi. How come I'm forgetting? Alafu we have Queen Anne. What's up Queen Anne? Ana sema show iko poa. Uneza ni chazea ngoma ya J Melody featuring Mario na Zuch. Fire ata salimia Kingsley sana. Kingsley ame salimia. Sime salimika? Kabisa. Alright. Lawrence. Ana itua Lawrence Okune. Ana sema show iko ju sana ni Lawrence nikiwa Mikanjuni. A big shout out to you. Mad love to you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Ranja, uh, Rambo, E.K.E. And my other show is on fire. Attending from Isiolo. My love to you, Robin. We see you. 00, uh, 0002. <laughs> we appreciate you. Sylvester Major, you're on Instagram as well. Nasama, make me present. Ara Mwingi, massive Hadi Tamati. I love DJ Kingsley. Cheza Sura Yako by Sauti Sol. If you care, Liz, Akiwa Mombasa. Ah, Sylvester, kona crashy. Shout out to Liz. Liz, my love to you. We have Just Mike. We see you with those fire emojis. We have Rongai, Boo. Bully, when you bully, as well, Kingsley, cut a simu, cut a simu, cut a simu to co site. I'm a cutter. Let me say, mad love. We have mad love for you, too, bro. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, now let's go, let's go, let's go. My little yachia to neglect to my salam to go to me. Um, to go to me. Kappa, I vikwa and it was Sam Kush. What's up, Sam Kush? To know your photo, Timona, you're looking good in yellow. Shout out to you. Thank you for being here. We have uh, someone else. and uh, You're watching actually from Nakuru, Sam Kush. Mad love to you. Thank you for being here. Bede, Asli, we see you. Give me Ketrax. We are waiting for Bounce Nation. Bounce Nation is already here. We're in here. Thank you for being here. Uh, we have Lucky Boy and some eight small Slinzin. You can dance. <laughs> I can't dance. I try. I try to dance. <laughs> You're watching from 237. Thank you for being here. Some Kush once again. Me see you. Vini Ke, uh, mad love to you. Some account me in. Uh, thank you. Mad love. Uh, Darkas. Nay. Ma. Oh, it's a nay. Ma. Darkas. You're watching from Kaloleni. Big up to Kaloleni. We have Endeavor. And some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Shout out to Fadili, of course, mm. in the building. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then we have Hamstone Hood and some high YG54. I support KK with Jay Z and his business. King Kingsley. KK. Mm -hmm. Yes. So is it Peter Evo? Hey, where? I'm not sure. KK is not normal. I'm not sure. 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 I'
<laughs> and so I play for me flex <laughs> by XLV. All right, we have Samuel Yugi and some reggae edition. Miss Kevin Leo said, reggae weather. Reggae, kumekuwa na drill. Kings liya jangu shaleo, anyone. And then we have uh, Mark Me President. Ebu ngoja, huyo kona madharao leo. Si madharao. Sasi leo umekacha for everyone. Kings liya jangu shaleo. At chezangi reggae kila siku. Nimesema today you catered for everyone. The disrespect. Yani mjaji explain the whole show. Wa. Ati wa. Wa. Asa ni kwambie. Wa. Ulianza na dance hall. Mm. Ukacheza R&B, yes. ukacheza Afrobeats, yes. umecheza drill, pop, ukacheza yeah. pop yes. na ukacheza reggae. Yeah. Sasa si wacha niseme leo, sababu umecheza everything. Shida ni kusema <laughs> sijaangusha leo. Leo. <laughs> Au angusha <Wow>. ngi. Ni aasi sema umeangusha, nimesema hujaangusha anyone. Like you get ah. for everybody. Ah, that's nice. That's me. That's me. That's me. Msema vile nimejitetea hadi mate imeisha. Wow. Yeye ndio anataka, ni bwana kaini. Anyway, anyway, we move, we move, we move, we move. We don't have time. We're gonna have to come back and send some more salams. Let me just five, five more people, and then we have to move on to something else. We have Lucky Boy. We see with us uh, fire emojis. Hey, Mike's, Mike's MKM. Is on Kingsley Look at this. Look at this. This is hey. how much he loves the no show. Man, no man, no Bro, man, no we've seen the love. Bro, I need to know sana. Thank you, Mike. Ma Mike's, Mike's MKM. He's of fire emojis ni most. Thank you so much. Wenjiku Florence Kibe. And I say my shout out to Beth Gitonga. Uh, okay, I think it's head girl, I think. And then you have Shoshi Makaveli. We see that photo. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. We have Vanches Boy Genius. And I say my to collect Lazima Ibambe. Congratulations, Bounce Nation. Keep up the good work. Shout out to you, Vinches. Asante sana. We love and appreciate you. We have uh, Bailey Belinda. Hi, Philin. Jean. Hi. Hi, Belinda. What's up, beautiful? I'm um, Bailey Belinda. Drills to come through. Can you play for me? Go by CJ. So, so cool. Thank you. Lucky boy, we see you. Mainge. Um, it's amazing. Some kush. Good evening. Good evening to you. To Ali Makafong. My love to you. All right. Now. We have to move on to something else right now. And of course, I told you, we, being on uh, Tuesday and Thursday, we got to have our guest. We had the first guest come through on uh, on the show, Memuona, and I told Slim Chains. I may represent Villa Inafa. And of course, we have our other guest right here in studio. She's not only beautiful, but she's also an amazing vocalist. She is a songwriter. She's a performer. She is all good things, an R&B singer. Born and raised in Atlanta, but Nairobi based right now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Jerry. Oh, 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 oh. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? We are good. Oh yeah. my goodness. We love your shoes. Thank and you. Thank you. So, when I'm not doing Bounce Nation, I'm a rocker. So, okay. when I see leather, I'm just like, I, I feel good. So, I love loving it. that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank yeah. you for making time to come through. Thanks for having oh, me. It's a pleasure to have a guest on the show. Thank you so much for having me. So right. Lovely. Yeah. Now, yeah. we said one thing. Mm -hmm. You were born in Atlanta, mm -hmm. but you're right here in uh, Nairobi now. Yeah. So, how long ago did you come back home? So, I was actually raised in Nairobi. So, oh. um, I was born in the States, came back when I was like eight months old. Oh, you were born there, then came back? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were raised. Uko. Oh, no, 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 uh. no. I was raised in Nairobi, then I went back for high school, then I came back in 2019. Oh. Yeah. Must be nice. <laughs> you're born there, you come to Kenya, and then you're like, uh, I'm just going to go to primary school, then high school, you know, <laughs> states and everything. Oh, but my God. Yeah. yeah. All right, but it's amazing. Like, um, mm -hmm. did you, like, w okay, like, when you left here, yeah. went back there, was mm -hmm. there any sort of, like, culture shock, like, how people do things? Most definitely. I feel like Kenyans are very sociable people. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it was very different in the way that people related. And, like, it's such a capitalist economy. So, um everyone's just working so people don't really socialize much so it's it's different it's different all right yeah, yeah. now so let's talk about your music that's mm -hmm. why you're here today so yeah. maybe you can take us through your music journey uh, okay. for from when you started until right now how has that been for you okay so my music career started last year uh, oh. that's when i started recording music for real yeah yeah okay yeah so i guess um with music i did choir in primary school uh, high school, I literally just did karaoke. Other than that, nothing <laughs> else. Yeah, like, yeah. Then but karaoke is a good way to start. It is, it is. Yeah, it's and it's fun. So yeah, it's yeah, fun. Also, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty much it. So we're here now. Um, I was in law school before. I decided to drop out and do music. 
So, There's no way. Yeah. Why is everybody doing that nowadays? You, you, you were in studio and you had me talk about my friend who dropped yeah. out of school to I pursue felt that. music. And I was in second year too, so yeah. I relate. Oh, you were also in second year? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I Kenyan <laughs> artists. Where? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you dropped out of law school. How did your family take that? Horribly. Yeah. Uh, my, dad, my dad was vexed. He, he was super mad. So, um, yeah, but at that point, it was one of those things, I was like, there's no turning back now, right. only way forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and I'm happy I did it, so, yeah. Right, and, yeah. and your style is majorly, you, you sing, your style is majorly R&B. Yes. And R&B does well, it's good, we grew up listening to R&B music, mm -hmm. lots of like Beyonce, Na Kelly, Mariah Carey, and yes. all that. Yeah. But now, it was, it's not as commercial right now. It's good mm -hmm. music, but yeah. it's not like super commercial if you're looking to sell out. Oh, Most yeah. people are now doing pop. Music. Yes, that's true. So, how is that for you? It's quite a challenge. I feel like it is a challenge, but mm -hmm. I enjoy doing it. So, I, I just, I think I do it more for myself, other than just the market. Because mm -hmm. I realized, like, even with the stats, um, I just, I dropped an album in May. Uh, with the stats, um, the music is being more appreciated in the States, the UK, and Nigeria, which is crazy. So, yeah, it's, I know it's, it's like, it's not as tapped into in Kenya. So it's nice that, okay, I, th I find it nice that I can do it and at least pave the way for people coming behind me. So, right. yeah. yeah. And of course, like, um, when you going back to the States and just coming back not so long ago, do yeah. you think that had any influence in the kind of music you're making right now? Yeah. Maybe if you were raised, like, for the most part of your ad adulthood in Kenya, mm -hmm. maybe you'll be doing something different, a yeah. different type of sound. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. I feel like... Um, if I was here, my mind would be as would not be as open as it is right now. Yeah, because I feel like when I went to high school there, it was one of, like they gave you independence, like to think. Mm -hmm. So I feel like with the Kenyan music market, we are used to a certain sound, and everyone wants to make that one mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things where it's like, ah, uh, no, let me just do my own thing. Right. Because I'm confident in it, and I'll keep doing it. And one day, maybe you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change my sound just because it's what works. Yeah, I feel like you should stick to <laughs> it's you stick, stick to what guns. you love. Yeah, exactly. And it works for you. And it's super super dope. I've listened yeah. to some of your music. And Thank you. Amazing. Thank you and so of much. Course, yeah, before we talk about your EP, which I love, mm -hmm. on, I, I, I've seen a few tracks on yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about you. You spoke about uh, women in music. You're yeah. really actually passionate about helping the ladies oh, yeah, in music. Definitely. Yeah. Because you believe it's hard to make it as a female artist in Kenya compared to a man. How is that? Uh, Other people <laughs> think it's the opposite. Really? <laughs> that's that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually mad. I feel like to make it sometimes as a woman, you either have to be pretty, mm -hmm. have to have a nice body, you have to have nyash, you mm -hmm. something, you know? You just have to have something either like physical or something controversial about you. Like it's, you can't just exist as a woman in your womanhood, in your femininity. Yeah, true. And true. just make it, you know? So I feel like being a man, you can do whatever, like, and people, I would say, are very forgiving towards men. Like, if a woman makes a mistake, people won't forget. But with a man, people will you forget. You move on. They exactly. Move on people move on. They forget it very fast. Yeah. So I feel like men have it easier in the industry than women do. And people are always trying to take advantage of women. Like, you never know. Like, it's just, it's a vulnerable spot to be in. Right. Yeah. Have you experienced that first time? Like, maybe have been harassed mm. by anyone oh no yeah gladly i like i haven't mm -hmm. um but i know people that have gone through that and it's, it's it's sad you know it's sad like you should feel safe in your workplace right so yeah and you should like when you're making music it sh should be about your passion not exactly. about what this producer can get out from exactly. you exactly away from exactly. like you paying for the studio station exactly <laughs> right yeah 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 exactly that's all right, right. and mm. you you also talked about having um an all-female kind of project, poets yeah. and musicians yes. and all that. How yes. is that coming? Have I haven't worked on it yet. I yeah. haven't worked on it yet, sadly. But mm -hmm. um, I really want to do that one day. Yeah, I feel like it'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just Kenyan female artists. Be super so dope. What, what will the project look like? Is it going to be like Ooh. a concert? Is it going to be like a, a project where by like it's your own song that involves like uh, poets and you work with other female artists? Or how are you going to articulate it? I would want um, each and every artist to do their own thing and just have fun with it, mm -hmm. as opposed to just dictate the art that comes out of it. I'd, I'd want it to be like an album of sorts. Yeah, yeah. 
and whatever comes out comes out you know yeah yeah of yeah. course mm -hmm. awesome mm -hmm. and we had talked about your other uh, your ep which mm -hmm. i love thank they you. mentioned so. thank you thank you so much <laughs> oh my gosh yeah they mentioned yeah. It's super cool it's an thank amazing you. album uh, ep rather yeah maybe you can tell us about the whole experience what influenced it and uh mm. who you worked with on the album Okay, so I worked with um, a producer named Rahim Lukwago. Mm -hmm. um, Chris Adwar is on it, doing harmonies on one of the songs. Um, yeah, pretty much. That was it. And then Dimensions is basically about the different aspects of life. It's like three, it's a three-song EP. Uh, there's a song about love, there's a song about enjoyment, and there's just a song about like your friends, your homies. Yeah, so that's what Dimensions is to me. It's nothing deep, just life, I guess. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And th th I can't forget this part. Mm -hmm. um, never be. Oh, you, yeah. You'll be never in love. But that song <laughs> was it like inspired by a true story? Of course it was. <laughs> I feel like that was one of my rawest songs ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was I would say my first proper heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Character More development. Is that yeah. Nairobi? Hey, Nairobi, good. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky, tricky scene. What <laughs> happened? For the guys who haven't listened to the song, mm. tell us more. Do tell. We want details. I was simping. I was just simping. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah. I was just simping. That's it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> but I learned. I, 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 my character was developed. I, I learned how Nairobi worked. Because this mm. was just after I came back. So I didn't know how Nairobi functioned. So I was naive. I was there two feet in. Kumbe Homie was outside. Uh, yeah, so like, hey. a, a he's a upset. He yeah. Welcome back, but yeah, right? yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 what happened. And now, you, now you know better. Did he get replaced though? We oh, have definitely. someone. We ha do you have someone new? I'm technically single. Ah, okay. Technically, technically. Guys. Emotionally, oh, yeah. look at her. Already hands are in the air. Even the guys are <laughs> like, oh, wow. oh, hi, she's single. I'm oh, okay. But it's technically. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's technically. Mm. Technically. Yeah. Technically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's going to claim it. Like, if you're not claimed, then it doesn't come up. That's like, you true. you got to come and, like, say, like, hi, yeah. we are dating, me and you. Not just exactly. because you go for movies and lunches and you hang out. Yeah. That, it does not make you a girlfriend, um, exactly. boyfriend. Like, don't assume. Mm -hmm. Someone has got to claim you. I say, man, where were you, Wangu? Mm -hmm. You know that you're dating. So exactly. That's what she means. Like, yeah, exactly. If you just hang out and, like, eat and, like, go to movies. I can do that myself, so, yeah. Right. yeah exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's pretty dope. And mm. there's a song you're dropping tomorrow. Tell us. Give us details about that. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. I actually hate that song. My friend dropped it for me. Yeah. So, that song, I wrote in five minutes last year and recorded it last year. I've been sitting on it. You wrote it in year. five minutes? Yes. Oh, cool. It was me traumatized by my actions. Really, okay, when I was drunk. So, oh. yeah, the song is called Go Keisha. Mm -hmm. So, Keisha is my drunk alter ego. That's what my friends decided to call me. Oh, I love that. I love no. alter ego. <laughs> I love that. Oh, no, it's horrible. That means, like, that's, how we, that's when you are yourself. That's when you are you, you know. I don't like that. <laughs> that's crazy. No, 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 no. Oh, no. So, but, why did yeah. Keisha do? A lot. Mm -hmm. Just a lot. She was just... It was it was on a Tuesday actually. I don't know that day. Um, one of my friends just came to the house with a box of alcohol, mm -hmm. and we were a bunch of us. Mm -hmm. So no one was like pacing themselves or anything. It was just a crazy night. Yeah. So um, yeah, I guess obviously I fell down a couple times. I was like, how am I falling <laughs> in my own home? Like it makes no sense. Yeah. So it was just it, it was a mess. It was a mess. So I was just. But it's inspired yeah. a song. It is part of the song, yeah. so I was just l living in regret in that moment when I wrote the song. So whenever I hear it, it, trigger, it tr triggers, God, triggers yeah, it's cool. a memory. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so that's what Gokisha is about, Kutroma. Gokisha. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I, I, I'm already pumped <laughs> up for this one. But you're going to do it. It's different from your other songs because it, we said I'm already the artist right here. But yeah. that one has some it's, rap. In it's it. a rap song. Yeah, so you have to freestyle for us. You oh, just can't, God. Yeah, you have to. Right? You want to hear her freestyle? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course. Good job. Hear me freestyle. I don't know how Kisha wins. Hey, hey oh, Kisha. No, 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 What's no, no, up? No. <laughs> we love oh. Kisha. Oh. I love Kisha. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but you can do something for us, though, right? I can try. Yeah, you can try. Let's go. I can try. try. We like Fair. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. Trying is better than not trying. Right? True. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay.
Oh, like right now? Yeah, like right okay. now. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, this is the song lyrics, because I don't know how to rap, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So the song goes, we got Keisha, we got Rhonda, this, that. Can I, can I cuss on the show? No. Okay, <laughs> this, that, ish, that I'm too fond of, all the time, it's never again. Pale sucks, I'm with my friends. Keisha Nataka enjoyment. Party Kamani employment. Keisha gonna spend some cash, and she will make it back. Keisha gonna shake some. Mm -hmm. Keisha, ah, what are the words? I've forgotten the words now. Ah. Tomorrow, tomorrow. But we like the flow. Tomorrow. Keisha tomorrow. Gonna yeah. I already have a bitch in my head. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. That is tomorrow. really good. Tomorrow, that tomorrow. Is really good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's dropping tomorrow. Where is it gonna be available? Uh, on, okay, so at the moment, it's on all streaming platforms, but we're dropping the music video tomorrow. So that is Apple Music, Spotify, yeah. all those, Deezer, everything. And everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So yeah. you just said Njeri, Keisha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Njeri, Go Keisha. Uh, go Keisha. Yeah. Cool. And your other music as well, mm -hmm. they're available. Uh, yeah, just everywhere. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Just Njeri, yeah. just yeah. one Njeri. name. Yeah, Njeri. Oh, cool. In caps. Yeah. Okay, she's mm -hmm. going to check it out. She's yeah. like really dope. And Thank you're going to be performing for us. What song is she performing for us today? Uh, I think, think Love. Okay. Can you perform Love? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. Love, love. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. she loves love. Okay, love. Okay. Before, before you go, um, mm -hmm. your social media. Just your social okay. media. And if you have any shout outs, and then we do that. Okay, so my Instagram is it's just Njeri underscore. Mm -hmm. um, my Twitter is Njeri Karaoke N8. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I use. And then my YouTube is Njeri in all caps. Yeah. Ah, Njeri, mm -hmm. all caps. Yeah. Okay, don't yeah. search all caps. Just yeah, capital, yeah. Letters. capital just letters. Capital letters. <laughs> capital letters. Njeri, yeah. capital letters. Yeah. All right, let's go. Cool. Yeah. Let's do this. Cool. Love, Binary, playing right here on Bounce Nation. Let's go.